Hello everyone, my name is Asisi Pombiedeli and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, guys, we'll be answering this nutrient cycle exam question from a previous grade 10 life sciences question paper. A lovely diagram, lovely questions. Let us go through it. Okay, so I know most learners don't like the cycles, right? But they are not difficult. But I... <laughs> I, I can say that the nitrogen one, I feel like the nitrogen one is more complicated. So the water cycle, the carbon, the nitrogen, um, those are the three I can remember now. So they are not complicated, but you know what? You just need to find a way of understanding what is happening in each cycle because you will be asked in an exam. Um, just like similar to this one. This question is from a previous November question paper. So yeah, find a way to understand the different processes um, and basically what happens um, and the changes that take place in that cycle and you'll be fine. So if you need a one page, um, that's how I teach my learners. Just get a double folio or one page and draw the cycle and explain all the different concepts. Like just have a summary of everything on one page. So I think that should be fine. All right. So it's up to you if you want to now label provide labels for everything and little drawings on this diagram before you look at the questions but because i obviously don't want this video to be long i will just go through the questions feel free to pause the video attempt to answer on your own and then um obviously listen to my answers please do comment down below subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the link with your classmates and your schoolmates all right let us look at this question, guys. The diagram below um, shows the flow chart of a particular cycle. Okay, they are not telling us what cycle it is. Particular cycle. Um, very easy to identify which one it is. Keywords, carbon dioxide. We are seeing combustion. We are seeing fossil fuels, dead, organic matter, animals, plants. Okay, there is a giveaway here. Identify the type of cycle represented by the flow chart above. That is obviously the carbon cycle. Okay, one mark. Identify processes that are labeled. So we need to identify C, A, and B. C, A, and B. There is C, there is A, and there is B. C, what are we talking about? Where's the arrow? Dead organic matter process will take place and this is basically going to release carbon dioxide in the atmosphere so that is decomposition decomposition okay then um what's another letter a from animals um so what we're basically analyzing here is the arrow and what is happening here is that animals are going to release carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The main process that will then need to take place here is cellular respiration. Am I correct? Yeah. Just double checking. Um, and then B, plants, let's look at the arrow. Carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is going to be used up by plants. Um, for which process? Photosynthesis. Right, okay, so yeah, it's fine. I'll write it here again decomposition, um, cellular respiration, and um, photosynthesis. One, one, one. All right, explain how process A produces carbon dioxide. Process A, cellular respiration. So for two marks, you're going to explain how cellular respiration produces carbon dioxide. I think this is more of um, giving a definition for the process. Because in cellular respiration, remember we are having um, living organisms um, basically breaking down glucose in the presence of oxygen to produce ATP energy. And the byproducts being um, water and carbon dioxide. That's basically how you should answer it. So we can say, how do we explain the process? We can say organic compounds or living organisms or just organisms. Oh, 
organic compounds um let me just let me do it like this. I don't want to complicate things. Leaving organisms breaking down, breaking down glucose in the presence, in the presence of oxygen in order to produce ATP energy. Please write it in full. Eh? Ignore my errors. It's because of space. Please do write it in full. To produce ATP energy and the byproducts is water and carbon dioxide. Right. That's how you get your two marks. Briefly describe the type of cell identified. So you are describing the carbon cycle in four marks. You're not skipping this question, guys. Please do not skip any question in your exam. Uh, try your best to answer each and every question. There is no question that you will be asked that is not part of your syllabus. So the mere fact that a question is there in the question paper, that means you should have covered that content in class. So very, very, very important. So let, for four marks, let us go through all of these points. So carbon occurs in the form of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Um, then we can speak about the green plants after. Okay, let me write everything. So carbon occurs in the form. We are explaining, uh, describing rather. You're not explaining, you're describing the whole cycle. In the form of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, in the gas form, right? in the atmosphere green plants are going to use this carbon dioxide during which process photosynthesis okay so green plants use carbon dioxide during photosynthesis during photosynthesis to produce glucose or you can say organic compounds or carbohydrates, right? Um, the carbon, which form, uh, which will then form part of the organic compounds in plants, will then be transferred to animals. What are we talking about? So remember, glucose is, is a chemical formula. There is carbon there because that's C six H twelve O six. There is carbon there. Okay, so the carbon. Um, which forms parts, which forms parts of the organic compound, which is the glucose, organic compounds in plants is transferred, is transferred to animals when they eat when they eat plant material when they eat plant material so material when animals eat plants they will obviously consume that carbon okay um then the last point sometimes the dead plants and animals um the remains will not decompose but um we speak about fossils um or rather wow fossils sometimes dead plants and animals remains do not decompose but are fossilized to form fossil fuels sorry so any four marks let's see if we can get four marks for, from what i've written yeah we can so let me show you how it's marked um carbon dioxide well in a form of carbon dye wow sorry guys it's 11 p.m um, okay, carbon occurs in the form of carbon dioxide, yes. Um, in the atmosphere, yes. Green plants use carbon dioxide during photosynthesis, yes. To produce glucose, yes. Um, when you speak about plant materials, that is also fine. Um, yeah, so any four marks from the ones that I've mentioned.